Outward looks like a game that every RPG fan should look forward to. Not just for the fact that it brings some classic and long forgotten features like local split screen co-op, but the game also looks like it was made with a lot of attention to detail. It's also really good to know that the developers of Outward 9 Dot Studios are not some big corporate assholes and when you listen to them speak like in this stream VOD, you can tell that these guys are true gamers. This is a good video to announce that I'll be covering Outward a lot on this channel, so be sure to subscribe if this game piques your interest. I already did a video called Outward everything we know about the game so far and if you want to hear some general information about the game you should check that out first, because in this one we're gonna talk about some specific information about the game's mechanics and I got some pictures of cool new armor sets that we'll be able to get in the game. Now the first thing I want to talk about is how co-op works. Besides split screen local co-op, we're gonna be able to play online co-op. If you're playing as a host, you'll be able to progress your story with the help of your guest, and the guest player will be able to keep all the loot, the experience and the skills he got while playing. Basically, as a guest, you're not losing any progress, you just can't progress your own story. All the save games are stored on your hard drive, one of the developers mentioned that the Steam Cloud saves could also be functional, and there's a good chance that consoles will be able to store saves on the cloud as well. There is no manual saves though, the game saves your progress in different scenarios. For example, when you sleep, quit the game, change the regions and so on. Speaking about the regions of the game, there are four main different regions with one major city in each region. The CEO of 9 Dot Studios, Gillian Boucher, I hope I said it right, also mentioned there are between 6 and 8 big dungeons in each region, as well as large amount of smaller ones. So if you are concerned about the game's length, this could assure you that you'll be spending a lot of time with this game, especially if you want to see everything that it's offering and play the game with multiple characters. The bigger reason you would want to play with multiple characters is the story. There are three different factions that you'll be able to join and complete the game with. It will be interesting to see how this works, since this reminds me of Gothic 3 faction system a bit. This adds a reason to replay the game from the story point of view, which is always nice if done properly. The next feature we're gonna mention is Legacy System. It's basically the ability to transfer your items from one character to another. Gillian Boucher said there is a Legacy System, but the player will need to progress in a game and find out for himself since it's kinda hidden. Action RPGs such as Diablo, Grim Dawn, Path of Exile, etc. wouldn't be such great games without a legacy system and I didn't expect this to be a thing in a game like Outward but it's highly appreciated. Now before we move on to showing you some armor sets, I want to mention a couple of things that might interest you. I was curious about the controller support on PC so I asked on Discord can we expect a controller support right at the release date and I got a positive answer. You'll be able to use almost any controller on PC from day one. And since the game is coming out simultaneously on all platforms, this kinda makes sense. Moving on to armor sets. The first set we got here is some kind of plate armor with deer horns it seems. I think we can see this armor set in action from the stream wad that I mentioned. If you stop the video here, we can see that the chest piece gives you impact resistance but you get a penalty for hot weather which makes sense. The next set is really interesting. This fourth set is obviously going to give you protection against colds so I'm assuming there are some locations with extreme cold climate. The next armor set is built for giving you cold, warmth and poison resistance, but like they mentioned here, it won't be able to protect you that effectively against melee attacks. And the last armor set on the list is another plate set. You'll be able to grab this armor if you bring the necessary materials to a blacksmith in Monsoon. You'll probably have to tell the blacksmith that you love unicorns. And that will be all for this video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content to come. Consider checking out my Patreon if you want to support the channel in the long run. Like I said, I'll be covering all the information for Outward and I have plans for doing guide videos and tips when the game comes out. The release date is on 26th of March, so just a bit over a month and I honestly can't wait. I'll see ya on the next one.